Morning. Morning. Oh, my Lord. Okay, let's try that. Had my phone in my hand. So, um, I had to go outside and check a little property for all kinds of different stuff. I was going to let the dogs out um, to run because it's really nice out. But um, there is several factors that I have to stay updated on out there before I can do that. Um, our back property owner, guy behind us, as I was walking by, said, hey, listen, are you coming back here to let the dogs out? And I said, yeah. And he said, don't yet. Got a big cotton mouth out here. Okay. So I won't be doing that right now. He's in process of trying to get it because he has beagles. His youngest beagle actually alerted him to the cottonmouth. So we won't be doing that right now. Anyway, um, I am going to do a couple of things. I've been working all morning. Um, I think one of them I'm not ready to do yet. It's kind of a backwards process. Um, but I don't think the cup is dry enough for me to mess with it yet. So let me switch uh, devices real quick. And I'm going to go out of the shop. Okay, so, hold on, Rico, what, I'm know. live, I don't care you about your problem. I don't know about your day, but the tempo for mine has been set. Okay, I don't care. Okay, anyway, Rico. All right, so I'm gonna do. I have two processes to do, but hi, what are you doing, Ruger? Hello, oh, everybody's coming. Okay, how are you doing? They, I had already told them they were going out that big door right there, but not with snacks. We can't have the snacks. Huh? Ruger. You didn't want, I mean, I know you want to, but we're not doing that. All right. So these two are wet. They have a quick coat on them and they're going to be a backwards process. So they're just not ready for me to mess with them yet. Um, another hour or two, probably. So what those are going to be is that's the base. I'm going to put decals on there. Snowflakes. It's a specific design. Um, spray paint over it. Pull the decals off. 
it's a whole backwards process that comes out <clears throat> amazing. So now what we're going to do is water slide. This is a cool way to, this is two different cups. I already printed that, sealed it, all that. So that's not gonna fit because it wants to act ridiculous. Um, I'll show you. There's a lot of people that have a really hard time with water slides. And I know I keep saying the word like you guys know what I'm talking about, but I'm about to show you. Um, this is feeding live to both my YouTube channels and both my Facebook group and my Facebook pro, uh, private, I mean, uh, public page. So what we're going to do, these are already prepped and they are actually, I don't know if you can see it, they're holographic. You'll see it once to do it a little bit so what we're gonna do is these look like on, these look like uh i guess it could look like sticker these are designs i sat and made this morning you'll see in a second what they do so water side Water slides are very specific um, to, I'd say, I mean, you have to kind of make the image according to what you're going to do. So, although it looks like it's on white, it's actually not. Um, that is the paper backing. Um, the actual water slide, as you're going to see in a second, is clear. So, for certain certain cups <clears throat> it looks far better than um other processes that could be used for graphics this to me brings you the the most uh the most vivid colors for the, like I said, depending on the design. So this particular design is beautiful. It is a bear, Christmas trees on the bottom, um, Santa and a sleigh, kind of a Northern Lights vibe. Um, and the colors are beautiful. Although it doesn't look like it on here because of the backing on how i printed it but you will see in a moment just how beautiful this design is cute christmas cup um it's going on a 20 ounce skinny so i uh size the images according to how i want it to look on the cup um this is going to go down the side um so i have done this image on did it on a ceramic mug a sublimated ceramic mug that was really cute um with water slides you need to get rid of you need to really cut as close to the design as absolutely possible because there is like i said there is a clear um this image is printed laser printed or ink no this one's inkjet printed on a um the only way i can describe it is it's, it's like saran wrap um, it's very, very thin, so you have to get rid of all the act excess or it will, um, you'll see it It'll mess up your image. So I don't know if I'm going to use these yet. I haven't decided yet. I'll cut them out, see what, how I feel about them. This is like arts and crafts for adults. Um, <laughs> 
water slides can be your best buddy if uh for certain images uh, much more beautiful but <clears throat> it can be screwed up really easy so you have to kind of the best way to do water slides is to do them print them kind of uh, do them on some trash cups cups that are already screwed up all that to kind of get the feel for them um and what images look good this way and which ones it's all about like how you print an image is all about the colors in the image the actual image itself and how you're going to get the most vivid colors so um This particular one, like I said, I don't know about the snowflakes yet. I printed them because I wanted to see uh, what they looked like on there. I do that sometimes, but I don't know if I'm going to use them yet. So I may go a different route with the snowflakes. What's going to happen is after this goes on, it, uh, <clears throat> after I put the images on, I could have probably cut these before I went live. That would have been smart. Um, but <clears throat> you can see how much work goes into, uh, you know, everything. Ha e even though, you know, people can do things um, quickly, uh, it doesn't make it uh, any less work. It just means, like for me, you know, I show, hey, look at this whatever you know this cup this dog but whatever that that's already done but <clears throat> constantly people ask uh oh can you message me and say can you i need this and this or whatever oh can you have it done in three days you know no what do you mean poxy takes 72 hours after the last coat to cure um which means completely dry to be able to <clears throat> be handled without any worries or whatever. Um, so, you know, this is this, this is the work that goes in that you don't see. This is me sitting for a couple of hours this morning, um, creating designs. I, you know, I had, like I said, those silver ones over there, that took me forever with a dental tool picking out all the little tiny pieces inside snowflakes and all that. I'll do that. Uh, they're not ready for me to mess with yet. So I'll do that on a different live. Um, but this, this takes time. I mean, like I said, there are plenty of people out there that don't take the time and just slap something on a something and say, here you go. Or the ones that say, sure, I can have it done in a couple of days. I promise you the quality of that is not going to be worth your money or time. Because if you give something to somebody too soon, that epoxy is never going to cure correctly. And they are going to be very upset that the money they spent, they could have spent at Walmart for better. Um... It's just the way it goes. So yes, there are some people that do not uh, design and cut their own decals and all that. There are people. Hey, Willie D. Hey, Shannon. Um, FYI, so I do not forget, because Mayo asked me last night and Mama asked me, Cut off for Christmas orders is going to be in November. Um, of course, uh, there will be local people that I don't have to mail it that can go right down to the wire as far as time goes. Um, I'm cutting decals for two different, these two cups right here, and then we're going to put them on. Um, but I just didn't want to forget to say that. So... Christmas orders are already starting to roll in. Um, I make it a point to tell everybody every year 
that even if, you know, whatever the case may be, you haven't gotten paid yet, whatever it is, give me a heads up um, on something as far as, hey, I'm going to, that's normally what my regular people do. Hey, I'm going to, uh, they're thinking of this, this, and this. So they're thinking of 10 cups or whatever. Um, give me a heads up on that. Or even if it's one cup, give me a heads up so I know um, ahead of time so I can kind of gauge what I have stock wise. Um, I have a pretty good stock going um, for raw material, um, for shapes, sizes, all that. There's really not many that I don't have, but there are a few that get um like i think soda cans i don't have a lot of um people like those so that's something i would need to grab uh more of just things like that i tend to wait um my two suppliers usually one of them that's in Florida messages me and says, hey, I got this coming in. Do you want in? Um, which is cool. I'm making a mess over here. I'm almost done. And then we'll put them on and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. This is a cool method. I know I have some people on here that are just learning to do cups, that I've helped learn how to do cups, that I've taught um the two that i'm thinking of are doing a phenomenal job makes it so much easier when somebody goes and does their own research goes and buys the you know they ask me hey what should i buy what should i not buy what shouldn't i waste my money on all that they go get the stuff and then they message me and say hey i got my stuff um Two of them have very successful blah, successful businesses, um, which from what I understand, there's not many people that are out there actually trying to help other people grow, which is weird to me. Um, we all kind of do have different styles. I have a friend here, my close friend that does, she lives mm, an hour away from me and does cups too but she will pass customers back and forth sometimes because either i'm too busy or <clears throat> it'll be something that i know she's better at there's a couple processes that i just yeah you know, i have to want to do them because i'm just i don't know what it is it just <laughs> works out better if she does it which it's not like we say okay give me this much money because i sent this it's, it doesn't work like that hey girl you got some space because this person needs this or if somebody lives closer to her um i'll pass those people off to her because they're right down the street from her done that a few times um it's just mm, to me small business you should be doing the best you can to help uh, each other get out there it's hard enough you know we put a ton of time in um so why not share it all right now this is the part Oop, that's stuck all right so hold on. we are going to get rid of this trash all right. Now, I need to go get some clean water real quick. And I'm going to show you exactly what we're doing. Okay. Yes, okay. okay.
Right here. Come on. All right. So we have a bowl. How do you have to make, 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 make sure? I cannot stress that enough. Make sure, especially on these white. Well, this is holographic, but um, make sure that your water is clean. That it's that it's fresh, fresh water because um it will screw everything up if you don't so i'm gonna do the bear Hold on. i don't want to drip anything on so we're gonna drop it oh, no, hold on we're gonna drop the bear in the water now mind you i clear coat sealed these after i printed them um so it can't be in the water long. We're going to wet the paper towel. This is kind of a move quick process. If you don't, that image is in the water because it's coming off the backing. So um, you have to move quickly or else it'll it, it'll stick to itself it's very very thin i can't stress that enough just how thin it is if you allow it it the image will fold on itself now look you see it's coming off the backing that's what you want so sorry about the thing there don't get it his legs stuck all right so, I'm going to straighten him out, make sure his legs are all good, make sure it is straight. It moved, but that's okay. We are lightly, lightly dabbing at first because getting the excess water out. Making sure there is no air bubbles. And then, hey, hi, babe. So, like I said, this image was, um, looked kind of blah on the backing, but on the cup, it's going to now, obviously, this doesn't have epoxy on it yet, but. Oop. And that happens when you're not paying attention. Um, it's, you can see through it, sort of. Hold on. This is not, it's not supposed to be moving that much. I put too much water on. That's the other thing is don't use too much water on the paper towel because it'll create slippage like it was just doing. So, make sure it's no wrinkles. Close your ears for a second. <laughs> Only doing this to seal the edges. You don't want to seal the edges too much, though, in case there is a spot. Underneath that I don't see, um, you do not want to just keep hitting it with a heat gun because you're trapping the water underneath. You want it to be able to get out or else it'll leave a water bubble underneath your design, which you will see. So it's very vibrant. Um, it'll look, once the epoxy goes on, it'll look gorgeous. Um, Uncle Tom, I was going to bring the dogs out and let them run outside. Kevin was out back with Copper, and Copper found a um, big poisonous snake. So the dogs will not be going outside right now. All right, we're going to do the bottom of this real quick. Um, I don't know which page 
you guys are on because I have both YouTube channels live. Um, do me a favor if you have time and like both of the um, both of the live streams on both YouTube channels because my new one will not let me go live. I went through StreamYard. Um, so do me a favor and like that for me. All right. I'm putting a snowflake on the bottom. Um, not quite sure if I'm going to leave it there or not. I don't really care for the fact that these particular cups, although they're beautiful and iridescent, um, they have writing on the bottom. And it annoys me like crazy. So let me put some snowflake stuff. Oh, you're going to like in the... All right, cool. All right. Um, Shannon, same thing. Facebook, if you have time, um, I have both my Facebook public page and my Facebook group on this live, plus both YouTube channels. So anybody that can go across and like them, comment, whatever, that would be awesome because I'm doing this second YouTube channel, the Kai's Custom Danes, um, as a not business channel. The only reason I put it on here today is um, to kind of show everybody that it's there, one, and two, because I was going to have the dogs outside run on the property, which is always incredible to watch, just watching them run, open up and run. But, like I said, right before I went live, our back property neighbor told me that his beagle had just found a, whatever it is, water moccasin, copperhead, whatever it is. Um, so I nixed that. All right, let me make sure this is lined up. We're going on the other side of the bear with a matching. I'll show you in a second. All right, the matching. decal. Let me just make sure this is hard to do live. Believe it or not, it sounds weird, but <clears throat> once these seal, you can't move it. So you have to absolutely make sure it's straight. And obviously, don't forget, water is dripping down the cup to the other side of the image I just put on. And you cannot have that get wet. It will slide. Oop, like that. So you have to make sure. I don't know why everything's so slidey today. So we're going to make sure we get water from underneath because it is there. Let's see it. We do not want water on there. So we're going to let that turn for a second. Maybe. Maybe. You let it turn. <laughs> All right. Heat gun real quick. Sorry about the noise. This one's going up for sale for my Facebook people. Um, <clears throat> it is a 20 ounce skinny. It is iridescent. You'll see that once the epoxy goes on. I mean, it's not just for sale for Facebook people. I was just letting them know. Um, StreamYard, doing StreamYard lives is new for my Facebook group and uh, public page. So kind of vibing them into that. All right, so we're gonna shut these off. So I can do the other one. So let's get close. And we're going to do this one. Super cute. So we're going to use less water. This image is very cute. It's colorful. You'll see just how vibrant it is on the cup. I think Tom is going around to all my channels, both my channels, I should say, and my Facebook. I think that's what he said. 
my Facebook group and public page. All right. This is cute. Very cute. Um, very vibrant. I tweaked the colors on it a little. It wasn't as bright as I wanted it to be, so I tweaked them this morning. One of these days, I will do a live on doing designs. Um, I get really frustrated. And I sit there for a really long time, so um, tweaking colors, all that. So I could do that <clears throat> to help the people that are help people understand kind of what goes into all this stuff. Plus I have quite a few people that are learning and um, I'm not one of those people. I'm not going to tell them, Oh, you have to pay me and all that. No, I taught myself. Um, so I'm happy to help if I can, as long as you know, how vibrant that is, as long as they do the work. So I do have people that hit me up. Can you help me? But they're not willing to try. They want me to do everything for them and tell them what to do step by step and all that, which, you know, I mean, it's fine once, you know, I'll walk you through, but I'm not going to do it, you know, two months down the road and be there every single time you know because i i do have one person i'm thinking of um that decided to tell people that this is what they were doing they created a business only they didn't know how to do it so they thought that every time I, they got an order i was going to be there to i guess walk them through the orders i have my own ton of orders i am not doing that hold on i gotta flip this up for a second um but the two, three, actually, that I'm thinking of off the top of my head that I helped. Um, that's better. Nope. Um, the two or three that I helped, um, three, uh, really rocked it out. I am going to leave space on this one um, for, oops, I just got water on these. I did not want to do that. That's the thing about these is you do not want to get water um, on the ones that you haven't put on yet um, because then you got to hurry up. Once they get wet, they start to separate, which is what they're supposed to do. Um, but you're going to be screwed uh, if you don't hurry up and use them. So I'm going to move fast on this because I put a whole bunch in at once. So let's tweak that, tweak this, kind of cute, and do the blue one underneath. I didn't have a plan for this design. I just kind of printed them and said, eh, I'll see what happens. So I'm just kind of doing it. It's a very vibrant design. It's pretty. It's colorful. So um, I just kind of made snowflakes that match. Here's a blue one. Some of these got wet, so we're going to use those first. Yellow. I just got them wet again. I keep doing the same thing. <laughs> uh, green. All right. So I'm just going to place these kind of, kind of free vibe in this one. So we'll just see what happens. I don't know who Facebook user is, but I'm glad you like it. This one is going up for sale. So um, it'll go up later today. I'm leaving space on it for a name. Oh, come on now. It's stuck to my hand. There we go. I am just putting these on. Here's light blue. I'll mess with them in a second. I don't really want the green right there. I want it red there. All right. One more. I need a small one. There's a small one. 
Sorry if you guys are talking or asking questions or whatever. Kind of moving quickly on this one. A uh, little tiny blue. Go right there. Now, we need to kind of get a dry paper towel in just a second. Once I get these the way I want them. I want one more little one. Ah, I left one in the water. This is what happens when you leave it in the water. I could still use it, but I don't really have a spot that I want to put a dark blue one. I don't think. No, nope. I want more color. We could put it right there. Maybe not. It doesn't want to. It said no. All right. Good. Where did the other one go? Oh, I never put it in the water. Okay, well, today is going weird. But that threw me all off with the snake being outside to not take the dogs out. I shouldn't have told them because they were all excited. And then that happened, so... I'm not taking any chances, though. We've already been through that with one of them. I'm kind of moving things around while they're still wet. It's cute, though. I like it. One more, and we're going to pat this down, get the water bubbles out, because I can see them. So we'll do that. And there will be space on the other side of this. Um, for an eighth that can match all the colors. So let me just line this up. Oh, I want them to be spaced right so my eyes see it right. All right, let me get a dry paper towel. Now, once a posse goes on this, it really makes it super super shiny vibrant um it's gonna sit for the next couple hours both of these are um and these will dry i'll probably turn them for a few minutes um i will come i'm gonna do a live later and do the reverse process on those silver ones to show you guys um those will go up for sale as well they it's a lot of work, but they come out amazing. So beautiful. And for what they, those plain silver ones look like right now, um, you will certainly see a huge difference. So we're going to turn these. Close your ears for a second so I can do the heat gun. Check over one more time. Make sure I am not missing any water spots. There we go. Those water spots can be sneaky. So, like I said, these are actually, they look white, but they're actually very iridescent underneath. So once the posse goes on, these things will be gorgeous. So that's the water slide process. Like I said, the to use whatever images you're going to use have to be very vibrant in color. Um, they have to be, I'd say primary colors are best, as you can see by, let's see if it'll lift me. There we go. As you can see by that one, they come out beautiful. Um, this one, beautiful. 
And these don't even have epoxy on them yet. So they'll be gorgeous. So we're going to let those turn for a while. These are the ones I'm going to do later. You'll see it's a very cool process. It takes some work, like I said, but I already did some of the work. So um, we're going to be putting decals on, spray painting over everything. And it'll look like, oh, my God, what are you doing? Spray painting the whole cup white. Then we're going to take very carefully take a razor knife and pull the decals off, which will the cups will look white and it'll reveal the decals that I put on the silver. Um, you'll see. So tune in later on for that. Um, I'll probably do it across these channels again. And it'll be before. Before 8 p.m. because the porch is going live with conspiracy night. I don't know what the conspiracies are. Uh, three people have asked me today already. I don't know. So, ooh, we have a wrinkle right there. This is what I was afraid of. All right. So, this is why I run my hand over and check. It's just right there. So, let's see if I can fix that. A wrinkle will cause all kinds of issues later. Yeah, it's already sealed. It's not bad or anything. Can't really see it. Um, and I can fix it. It's, it's you can't uh, you can't see it at all. I can feel it. It's not a big deal though. It'll be fine. There we go. All right. All right. So that's that for now. Um, what? But you can't see me. You want... What? Lori is trying to use StreamYard, and I can't see her, it says. So it looks like my Facebook group some it just says Facebook user says I like it. I don't know who that is. Um, Lori, if that's you, let me know. Um, Alvin, where did you type looks cool? Is that my Facebook group, private group, or public page? Um, okay. All right, Lori. I saw you. Okay. All right. So Facebook user comes up probably out of my private group, if I had to guess, um, which is fine. So that's that for now. Like I said, these will both go up for sale. We'll do those silver ones later. Um, there are still slots available on the cup race. There are still 50, I want to say 52 slots left. Um, so that's Facebook in my private group, which is linked. Um, so private group people, get your slots. Um, I have a whole bunch of cups going up for sale as well. And I'm about to show you guys. Okay, Willie D, just let me know. Um, basically, this is what we're going to do real quick. I love this cup. And Kira, I know you haven't seen this yet. This is your cup for your mom-in-law. Super cute. It's actually done. It's just end of the day today on curing. Stacy, there's yours. <laughs> oh, Willie D. Look at these cups. I designed everything start to finish. She just said this and this. Do your thing. They're very specific strains. See the letters? <laughs> There's two of them. Oh, okay, these are up for sale. Both are, are mugs. They have lids. They're stainless steel. There's the original Grinch and color. 
And there's the new Grinch color. Like I said, both have lids at uh, 12 ounce and 14 ounce, I believe. Both have lids and straws, real lids. And here's our for sale cups. So everything with the exception of these all belong to people. These do not. Some of them have stuff on them. Some of them don't. Um, some of them, like this one is sanded still. Um, the Hocus Pocus cups are done. Up for sale. That's a 30 ounce. This one's a 20 ounce. Hocus Pocus. Glows in the dark blue. All for sale. So, that's that for now. I got a whole bunch sitting on purpose for ideas for Christmas gifts for people. Um, that maybe don't know what to get somebody or whatever. They're already, hey, David, they're already bases done. Some of them, even the decals are done. That cup right there is completely done. It's green and blue inks. It's beautiful. And there are pictures up of it. These are actual glass, those three. That one, 30 ounce fatty. Um, that blue and silver is a shaker bottle, a protein shaker bottle wine cups that one right there is a 40 ounce curve most everything here fits in all cup holders as well except for stuff that would be obvious like that is not a cup that's a pressure sealed vacuum sealed container that's 30 ounces for coffee dog bowl dog treats stuff like that so that's it for now like i said I got people on Christmas gifts, whatever. Um, we have, I'm just looking behind me. Uh, hi, what are you doing? You're so sad because you can't go OUT. But there's a snack. There's a snack. I know, and you would try to get him. You would try to get him. So, raw dog bowls. I have stock in with almost everything. As far as, you know, they go all the way back. I think they're six deep, five deep. Um, I have almost everything. So order-wise, let me know. Um, and it's raining. Okay. And that's about it for now. I will be live in a couple hours. I'll put a thing up first to do those other um, cups. And the process, it will actually be pretty cool. All right. Thanks for coming, guys. Hit, make sure you hit the like and add a comment after the live is done on both my uh, YouTube channels. Um, Kai's Custom Designs, Kai's Custom Danes, um, both channels. Hit the like and comment. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, Facebook people, if you're YouTube people, come on over to YouTube. We go live over here all the time. Um, I don't bother going live much on the Facebook group and public page because facebook hides the posts for like a week um so there's that so come on over kai's underscore custom underscore designs for business and kai's underscore custom underscore danes for everything but business so our three great danes stuff we do places we go stuff like that so hi so this is ricochet he is one, and he is a blue gray Dane. Huh? What you doing, Ruger? His brothers are in the other room. Let's see what they're doing? They're probably sleeping. Alexa, turn the lights to white. Okay. Hi. What are you doing? Hi, Ruger. Hi, Rim. We'll go outside. All right, guys. I will see you in a couple hours. Um, and maybe we can get rid of that snake out back. And I can do a Danes live on that channel. Talk to you later. Thanks for coming. What's the other channel? Um, go to my... Uh, David, go to my... What in the hell? Go to my... Um, my this channel go to my community tab and it's posted on there. Kai's underscore custom underscore Danes, D-A-N-E-S.
that was our test of the emergency broadcast system that everybody's supposed to be hiding from and all of a sudden people are going to turn into zombies i guess i'm still here and not a zombie so i guess you know the conspiracy theories were a lie <laughs> all right guys i'll talk to you later on i gotta get some stuff done and get some stuff together yeah actually no it's not early actually it's late mayo it was supposed to be what wait or was it two thirty? no i thought it said 2 10 or two o'clock blame illuminated i know for real illuminated's fault hey did you see uncle tom's pizza oven oh he's got it covered i bought him a cover for it and it's pretty cool but this is the pizza i took a video last night i'll post that in a short what are you doing what are you doing are you looking for bunnies you better leave those baby bunnies alone sir his pizza oven is awesome i'll post a short of that you died willie d well look at you being all magical and you're back <laughs> ridiculous hi what are you doing there he is hi all right i'm gonna sit here and oh my gosh hi it's mel hi mel how are you 120 okay well yeah, man no i saw two 220 this morning when i was telling uncle tom about it because i thought it was hilarious all the um conspiracies that blah, blah, conspiracies that were going around about it um but maybe i don't know nothing came over the tv i don't know the tv's on but i know they said phones tvs radios computers all that what are you doing you guys are hunting bunnies and that is not nice i hope those mother bunnies got smart all right guys so listen i don't know i can't tell because i'm not looking at it what channel you guys came in on but hold on i'm going to switch from my phone to the computer real quick hold on one second I was talking the whole time. I put the wrong one up. Oh, my. Hold on, hold on. Okay. So annoying. Anyway, can you guys hear me? Oh, yeah, I got to check all my devices. I got two laptops in here plus the iPad um, and I didn't come across that, but my other phone, yep. The purpose is to maintain and improve alert and warning capabilities at the federal, state, local, tribal and territorial level. Why do we have to have all those things? How about just, we're just doing this. Jeez. Okay. Actually, now I can show you this. So, those silver cups. Why is my chair on? I guess it's not. All right, those silver cups. Um, this is what's going on them, but it's not going to stay black. But that's going on there. These are going on there, but like I said, they're going to go on there in black and then I'm going to spray the whole cup white and then piece by piece with an X-Acto knife, pull these off. Um, so what will be left is what you see here 
will be left written in sparkly silver. Um, it will look pretty cool. Again, all that stuff probably won't go on there. And I have two silver ones in there. So the other one, I have to decide what's going on. And I think I already know, um, but I'm going to print that. Because like I said, these processes are not short. So I walk back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, sitting here designing for hours, printing things out. Then like the water slides, I have to take them out to the shop, spray them clear several times, let that dry, then cut them out, then put them up. So it would be like a weird walking back and forth. I would have to have like a GoPro on to do all that. Um, and I'm not doing that. So there's that. Anyway, so don't forget tonight on porch session is conspiracy theory night. And I really think that he should do something about this alert stuff. Um, but I don't know what he's doing. He's probably leaving work soon. Um, yeah, David, really? So again, oh, now that I'm sitting here, hold on. Now that I'm sitting here. Here is the new, here is my new, my new YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to that one. And here is all of my links. So both my YouTubes, my Instagram, my business Instagram, and my link tree. Hopefully they all post. Oh, my word. Did it all post together? I don't even know. Anyway. So. All right. Sorry, I was reading. Um, make sure you subscribe to that. A lot more content going on there. I figured I would. The reason I did a second channel was. I don't really, I don't, I don't care about monetizing it. I've realized since I've been demonetized on my business channel, it's actually all right. I don't mind because, um, they're not hitting me constantly with, you can't use that song. You can't do this. You can't do that. It's nice. Um, so I did the second channel because I, I was meshing a lot of stuff dog wise, kid wise, or just life wise and places we go and things we do and all that, which is coming up. So I figured better to have a second one um, to just do people are constantly asking about the great Danes and stuff like that. People I don't know. So I figured I would do that. So that way I have a second channel as well, just in case uh, um, somebody seems hell bent on giving me a hard time which is how I got demonetized. Um, I don't know who, I just know another channel creator um, and, a, and a subscriber of mine. I don't know if they are anymore. I don't care, but anyway, that's about that right now. Um, I'm thinking, Make sure you do that. I said that. There's my Instagram, my business Instagram. Um, my Cash App. We all know that. My Cash App is the same as my name, only with no underscores. Um, it's actually stream going across the bottom of the screen. Um, so we'll try this and see how this goes as far as I am streaming right now to both my YouTube channels and my public page and my private group on Facebook. So we'll see. My private group I've had for before everything. And um, that was my first everything to do with business. Um, and I have almost a thousand members in there. And the vast majority are not seeing posts, not seeing for sale posts, not seeing lives, not seeing anything. And it's the whole thing that I talk about all the time with what Facebook did when they bought when they turned into meta and bought Instagram and all that. So there's that anyway. So I think that's about it. I'm thinking through, um, 
I'll go live in a couple hours on um, that process and I'm going to figure out another, what the other decals that are going on the, the other silver one. I might do a reverse process on both of them. If I'm going to, I need to cut the decals because you know, these cut on vinyl, plain black vinyl. And then you sit here with a dental tool and pick out every single teeny tiny little spot in every single one of them. Because once it goes on the cup, the spray will get into every groove. You'll see. Pretty cool. So let's see how that goes. All right, guys, I'll see you in a couple hours. I'm um, not sure if Facebook is going to be linked or not later. Maybe. We'll just see what happens. Um, all right, I'll talk to you guys later on. Don't forget about uh, Conspiracy Night tonight on the porch. I don't know what time. I, I would guess 8, 8.30. Um, the black and blue one. The swirly one, Willie D. The 30 ounce fatty. It's like swirls of different colored blues and stuff. The chat sometimes lags. Okay, you got it. It's one of my favorite ones. I did that one freehand. Just kind of, it, it's got no decals on it, right? That one. Hey, girl. Uh, anybody coming in on Facebook, know that it says fa Facebook user. It does not say your name. Um, so you know, but I know who that was. <laughs> But anybody on Facebook, so you know, it's it's really, I kind of like that actually. So in parentheses, whatever you type, just put the first initial of your name or something like that, um, or just your first name in parentheses, something like that. It's a good thing actually that it says Facebook user because um, it's probably coming from my private group, private group. So that's cool. Hey, David, look at you over there now. <laughs> um, so, yeah. All right, Willie D, you got it. I love that cup. Absolutely love it. And it's way better in person. It's, it almost appears like the inks are moving. Pretty cool. Some of those things like that are really hard to show no matter what you do. It's hard to show somebody just how cool it is until it's in front of them. Just the way it works. Anywho, all right, guys. Um, give me a couple hours, and we'll be back live. Appreciate everybody coming, commenting. As soon as we end, please go to both my YouTube channels and hit the like and leave a comment after this after the live is done. Love you too, girl. All right.